Steve here with Speed Kings. Today we're gonna go over a quick installation guide on the Memphis Shades Road Warrior fairing. We got a few of these in recently. They've actually been a pretty hot seller for us here at the store. We ran them on our bikes. We really enjoyed these. Very nice, heavy duty construction right there. You're not gonna get any kind of wind flex these. That's one thing I really liked about these. The shields is already molded to that shape. So they're real thick and these things don't flop around in the wind like a traditional shields. This right here is the cafe style shield. So it's a very short shield, comes with a light tint. This one is your 11 inch dark black smoke vented shield. So it has the vents to allow more airflow through your fairing. Helps reduce wind buffeting in, in case of that. And this is our 11 inch dark black smoke solid shield. They range from a, the cafe style shield here all the way up to a 17 inch shield. This is what comes with their full bracket kit. If you already have the clamps here from a previous fairing, such as the gauntlet fairing or a Del Rio shield, you can actually just buy the plates only kit, which will only come with these plates. These plates are specifically made for the Road Warrior fairing, so you will need these to install. Their kit is pretty awesome though. It comes with your Allen wrenches that you need and everything ready to rock and roll, and it's quick disconnect. Right here, you have your Road Warrior headlight block. You'll use this to push your headlight bucket out a little further to fill up the headlight area of the shield better. So from this point, we're gonna go ahead and walk you through how to put the fairing body together with the shield and throw your brackets on. After that, we'll throw our clamps on our fork legs and mount this bad boy. Once you unwrap your brackets, you're gonna have them kind of put together like this. So what you'll do is you're just gonna take this bolt out and usually it's about finger tight. If it's a little tight, you use a 7 16 wrench or socket. And you're gonna go ahead and remove this rubber grommet. Once you have all your rubber grommets removed, you'll go ahead and insert them in all four locations on your Road Warrior fairing. They're pretty easy to put in. Just be gentle with them. You don't want to tear them. We'll go ahead and place our grommets on the other side as well. Once you have all your grommets in, you can go ahead and take these and kind of pop these in. They're in real, real loose. Because, well, you'll see what we do with them on the other side with the bracket. With those popped in, we'll kind of just hold them in place and flip it over. Now we're going to take our bracket and you can see that our bracket holes are slotted. Our metal nut receivers also have kind of a slotted area. So what you want to do is you want to line those up. Once you have the receivers lined up, you'll want to go ahead and thread your bolt on. We're going to leave them a little loose, that way we can adjust it once it's on the, on the bike. Make sure when you're putting the bracket on the fairing body that the tabs go in towards your headlight bucket. Make sure your quick disconnect is facing towards the bottom of the fairing. These will receive your clamps as so. so we're gonna go ahead and remove our stock headlight from its uh, mounting block. And we're gonna install the Memphis Shades Road Warrior uh, headlight mount block. So right now I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the headlight from the block itself. You're gonna reuse this bolt, the bottom mount bolt right here for your headlight block. You're gonna reuse your hardware that you remove your headlight from in the same spot as well. Leave this a little loose just so we can adjust it once we have the fairing on. We're gonna go ahead and install the frame clamps that come with the bracket kit. One of the things that I really like about Memphis Shades and their products is that they supply the tools that you need with it. It doesn't seem like many companies do that anymore, but you get these nice little Allen wrenches to go ahead that helps you out with the installation here. So right here, as you can see, this is your frame clamp bracket. When you lock it in, you're gonna put this piece on the tube, you're gonna go to this location and boom, snap it like that. And it's gonna clamp around your fork tube that way. Some people think you slide it in like this, it's actually quite simple to just boom. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on the inside. Clip it in our third position location. Use our Memphis Shade supplied Allen wrench. We're just gonna leave these loose because we wanna be able to move them. You can snug them. You don't want them to slide up and down too freely, but you wanna be able to slide them on the tubes a little bit. We're gonna do this on both sides. We're gonna add both clamps. All the clamps are the same, so it doesn't matter which ones you use on which side. As long as you have this position right here, going forward. Right. So 
So now that we have our clamps on, we're going to go ahead and align our fairing body up. Make an adjustment as we need to. Once I have the brackets lined up on one side, I like to go ahead and just lock the top one down and I move to the other side and line that up. Now that I have both sides kind of lined up, what I'll do is I'll come here and I'll adjust it by making sure that the light is in the center. Once I get the fairing in the position that I want, with the light nice and centered and pushed to the proper location, I'll go through and I'll tighten everything down. So now we're just gonna tighten down the headlight in here now that we have it in the right position. And now we will attach our uh, windshield. This is the windshield mounting hardware that Memphis Shades provides. It is made out of plastic. So with these, you do not need to use a, a screwdriver or anything to mount this up. If you do, you will damage it or can, you know, scar it up. Um, so you, all you gotta do is with this is, is do it finger tight when you put it on. Uh, and you know, it's good to check it every once in a while from vibration. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and install the 11 inch dark black smoke shield. And that's it. She's ready to rock and roll. A good feature about the Memphis Shades fairing line is that they're quick disconnect. So if you go for a day and you're like, I don't want to run my fairing, you pop this little tab forward and pull it up on both sides and slide it right off.